Good day mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a wonderful day again to start reading God's word, his love letter to us. Amen. The Bible. Hallelujah. Wow, look at that cross, the mighty cross. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And look at the clouds there, shapes like a heart. Look. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us thank you lord because of what you did on the cross for us oh god we are saved hallelujah and i pray for those who do not know you lord that they will come to know you and receive you as their personal lord and savior god thank you that you are so good to us hallelujah it's so wonderful that mighty cross reminds us when we read yesterday God's word on 1st Corinthians hallelujah thank you Lord you are so so good you're so wonderful oh God thank you Lord for your great love to us father you love us Lord with an everlasting love hallelujah Jesus the name above all names god thank you lord amen hallelujah i'm just so fascinated with the beautiful white clouds and blue sky <laughs> and the beautiful flowers thank you lord look at that white flower in that tree yes look two flowers there can you see that Eh? <laughs> only two white flowers that's for me thank you lord you love me so much <laughs> for giving me the beautiful flowers earlier on there were birds flying around there and came to my window this beautiful window <laughs> asking for food and of course they had their food and also with my little duties here they are eating and swimming. Look. Oh, so sweet. Hello, cutie. Ah, oh, hello, baby. How are you? <laughs> they are so cute, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Lord. Come, Mama Maha. Let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of Second. First Corinthians chapter 2 Thank you Lord Father God as we continue to read your word again today help us to understand Lord give us Father this give, give us Father God the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you O God Lord as we continue to read your word in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen hallelujah and so we will be continue on reading First Corinthians chapter 2 Christ crucified hallelujah and I brethren when I came to you did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom declaring to you the testimony of God for I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and his and him crucified I was with you in weakness in fear and in much trembling and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not be in wisdom in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Wow, so powerful, huh? Spiritual wisdom. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. But we speak wis the wisdom of God in a mystery, and hidden wisdom, 
which God ordained before the ages of our glory. Before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the hearts of men the things which God has prepared for those who love Him. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Mm. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Wow. Even to one, even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Wow. Amen. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. What we that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness to that to him, nor thank you, Lord, nor he can know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Wow, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. For those of us who are the children of the living God, we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word today, O God. As we continue on reading your word again today, Lord, help us, Lord, reveal to us what you want us to know about your words in chapter 2 of First Corinthians. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Reveal to us, Father. You are speaking to us. And I pray that you will reveal to those who do not know you, Lord, what you are trying to tell them, that indeed they really need Christ, Lord Jesus. Because when we have the Lord Jesus, then we will have the Spirit of the living God in us. Who teaches us into all things but god has revealed them to us through his spirit for the spirit searches all things yes the deep things of god my fellow god's beloved if you do not have the personal relationship with you i pray that you will receive him as the lord jesus as your personal lord and savior and when you receive the lord jesus christ then the holy spirit 